Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So first off, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my Patreon supporters, Al Heyman. Thanks for your support. Now in this video, this is more of a teaser before my 5 star review, which I'm still working on. However, this is going to be a fun solo fight of Yakumo with his buddy and Tetra as the other sidekick against the twins. And you should remember, my struggles against the twins uh, were quite legendary, quite painful. And now, you can just walk through with a single unit. So, I'll show you the Lodo at the end of course. But first turn, we just only had to apply um, <coughs> Retribution, and that would be the one, actually Karma. And that's the one to regenerate uh, your MP to the max. And the reason why you use that is it does give mental focus to himself to maximize his damage as a magic user. After that, we started off with a first turn, second turn AF, activating Lunatic and Deletion. And after that, it's just a bunch of spamming deletions, which can, by the way, attack up to five times if you have max MP. Again, I will go over all of this more with the five star review. And keep in mind that Kumos, uh, his sidekick, can also apply Shade Resist Down, Speed Down, and other goodies such as that, including Magic Resist Down, um, in order for you to out, um, you know, move the twins because. You know, the twins are quite fast, usually, and so usually you get hit before um, your units are able to hit. In this case, we take advantage of the fact that he, they have a preemptive heal, and we apply Retribution again. And Retribution does give, in the Lunatic, 100% Shade Resist down and 100% Shade Damage up to your single unit. Um, and since he is a selfish unit that only gives buffs to himself, it really isn't any problem here. I mean, does he really need anyone else? He can even apply Pain and Poison himself if you want to use his Persistent move. However, in this case, we are using his Grasta Occasional Pain uh, or in order to kind of finish it off. After that, we did activate Kumos' special ability in which for one turn, until he uses one of his signature moves, he can consume 0 MP and you can clearly see he still has full MP at the end of battle. 2795, which is, by the way, the highest MP unit in the game after all those buffs. If you're wondering how he got so high, um, you do get the benefit because he is damaging himself with Risk Taker. The aura from the other sidekick, Tetra, which is from the Mon Monoka, does take effect as well. So we actually have the benefit of two auras going, although we only have one front line uh, sidekick or buddy. So again, this is why you pull for the buddy. Both buddies together are extremely ridiculous. One on its own is already really powerful. And anyways, there you go. In terms of the loadout, you can check it out. And one thing to keep in mind is I'll put some links to the socials below for our uh, English voice actor, uh, Joshua Rich uh, Richard. So make sure you check him out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.